two spectacular drug busts at the Chetty Jagan International Airport on Sunday brought home the point that drug traffickers may not be letting up in their relentless efforts to get cocaine out of Guyana through the country's main international airport. At least eight airport staffers were pulled off the job and taken into custody just around 2 o'clock Sunday morning when 55 pounds of cocaine with an estimated street value of over $50 million was discovered in a suitcase already packed away in the cargo hold of an Omnijet aircraft being operated by Caribbean Airlines. The Customs Anti-Narcotics Unit may have gotten wind of the effort to get the drugs out and just as the aircraft was pulling out from the gate to taxi the runway in preparation for takeoff, Carlo requested that the flight be put on hold and that the aircraft return to the gate. When that was done, Kanu pulled all the bags off the aircraft and decided to carry out a search. It was then that a pricey illicit cargo was found comfortably stashed among other suitcases. Kanu and the police immediately moved to arrest a number of airport staffers and take them in for questioning. From all appearances, the drug-laden suitcase was not checked in, but was rather taken to the back of the airport past all the layers of security through some other point. There have been at least five other similar cases over the past few months at the same airport. And just as the eight persons pulled in as part of that probe into the bus were being questioned, Kanu moved in just hours later and busted two blocks of cocaine weighing over five pounds stashed on the inside of one of the vehicles used for transferring the flight stairs to the aircraft. The driver was taken into custody. In a matter of just under five hours, Kanu had pulled in over 60 pounds of cocaine at the same airport. And now the probe is expected to cover all angles to figure out just who may be really getting the cocaine past all the layers of security without being noticed. Head of Kanu, James Singh, today said the investigation will be a widespread one that is not restricted to any one group or company at the airport. There is no indication that there is any involvement of any of the Kanu officers. As I said before, we are working through the task force set up by the Ministry of Home Affairs and working with the stakeholders to ensure that the airport remains um, vigilant and free from anybody um, moving drugs into the, that area on, on, um, on aircraft and in passengers' luggage. So to say that there's one particular agency doing more than the other or there's an issue in terms of staffing, I can't comment on that, no. In the course of the investigation, if there's found that individuals, whether it's from Khan or any agency, has been involved, then the necessary action will be taken. He is confident that his agency has been doing its work and confident too that the drug trafficking efforts may no longer be eyeing any one part of the airport. I can assure you that as, every, as, we, as law enforcement takes the necessary steps, the persons are so desperate that they will try other means. Um, the fact that we are finding the drugs in Guyana, whether it's in a, in a, in a suitcase um, that has been taken through a gate or through some other means. The fact that it's being found shows that law enforcement continues to be vigilant, whether it's at the scanner or anywhere else. And it just shows that we have to be more aggressive, more proactive in ensuring that the entire area is um, properly monitored. The Sunday drug bus come even as one security at the airport has launched its own commission of inquiry to get to the bottom of a recent bust involving one of its agents who has since been charged.